the truck the truck in front of them don't know what's going on there whoa oh look out we got trouble this is gonna hurt uh oh oh my oh my Daytona, and this is how it happened as far as the caution coming out. Look back in the middle there, the 22 of Joey Coulter. A little bit of contact with the 31 of James Busher gets up into the catch fence, and man, does that catch fence do its job. And of course, Ty Dillon slipped right through again. See Ty there in the truck with the bright neon orange just slips right through. I'm just glad Coulter's okay. That was wild looking. Especially when you're a rookie. Oh, there it goes. In the middle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Himself and upside down is the 45 of Majeski. Let's hope he gets back on his tires here. That thing's square on the roof. What a shame. That time Majeski and his truck comes to a stop. You just know with all that movement. As we go back to the highlights, a push is probably the, the, the beginning. And yes, there it is. Todd Gillen in back of the. That's Fogelman in the 0 2, wasn't two, it? 2, yeah. And then, man, he just. Majeski just turned sideways down the front and it just tipped right over. NASCAR does so much work in the wind tunnel to have uh, flaps, air flaps, different panels on the truck that blow away that is supposed to prevent that. But. Bumping through the trioval here is the sketchiest place to do it. Um, and you see that, that big set that you saw that white truck make right there. Um, he needed room to save it. Uh, and y you try to do everything you can to not run into the cars. You try to do everything you can to keep your truck going straight. And uh, unfortunately, wrong place at the wrong time for Ty. Three, come out 13. You got a guy coming to you. Not over. Keep digging. They're crashing. Rose in the crash. Crashing up and over. And Cass Grala looks to me like will win this race. You can see, no surprise to me that exiting the corner is when the trouble happened. It just was a very aggressive push. Yeah, it looked like Grant Enfing was trying to help. Ooh, look at Matt Crafton up and over. There's Johnny Sauter up in the middle of the mess. Red Enfinger was pushing right there when the track flattens out. Yeah. Around goes the 27, catches Crafton, who thought he was home free. Exactly in that spot where you said you didn't want to be pushed, where the track changes a little bit of that elevation. The white flag is out. They're going to crash. Sauter with a big run. They're crashing. Christopher Bell upside down. That hurts, and that thing landed about six or eight times pretty hard. What about Brandon Brown? He slides through there. Looks like he's going to be credited with a fourth place finish. I think he might have got in the back of William Byron, and that's what got in the back of the four of Christopher Bell and turned him sideways. Brandon trying to go up the There's middle. No room. Here we go. Right as it crosses the strike, we have issues. Now the eight of Max Gresham, the five of Tim George Jr. The 93, we saw Keep it rolling if you can. Jason White caught up the 62 of Brendan Gone. There's the 77 of Ermain Caroga. 07 of Chris Cockrum involved in this. Chris Fontaine always runs so well here. Paul Brendan Sitter, Newberry. Yeah. Brendan Newberry. Coming apart. Look at Brendan just trying to squeeze in that little bit of a hole. And uh, look like Brendan didn't, didn't know he was there. Didn't know he was trying to make it three wide, go up through the middle. And Brendan came down a little bit. And then it's just around. There's a 30 of Ryan Truex Jr. Look at Jason White. Trying to slip and slide. Is he going to make his way through there? Yes. A yeah, little bit of contact, man. but it looked like he pretty much. Race is out of control. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> Rhodes in it. Oh. Finger, and there goes Rhodes. Contact. Big right. Come on, straight it up, straight it up, straight it up, straight it up. Go straight, man. Come on, straight. Keep coming straight. Keep coming straight. Get off the So many involved. Jesse Little, the 97 around, the 13 of Johnny Sauter. 
in it as well. Sheldon Creed. There's Tyler Ankrum in the 26 and Ben Rhodes. And watch it. This is how it started. Ben Rhodes from the bumper of Johnny Sauter, but you don't know. He might have been sideways already. Just these guys were just so close and pushing so hard. Yeah, you're pushing three wide. Uh, and, and, and as we can tell over and over again, when a car gets to another back bumper, uh, they, they just become unstable. And yeah, it, it's a bad spot for the for the 99 of Ben Rose to be in. He had the 98 door to door with him, uh, which is the most unstable your car is going to be. And then a push comes behind you. Play here as he makes it through as well. That's what you call cool under fire right there. Backed off the gas was why Johnny hit him. Could be right. Todd Gilliland in that 38. He's had such a strong truck tonight. Here's the 51 of Riley Herbst. Look at the move by Hill in the 16. Right around the outside of Herbst. Texan trying to hold on, 43 years old. Oh, big crash and Ben Rhodes going around the outside and across the line. Jordan Anderson with the huge run. But it's Ben Rhodes, the winner. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy what happens <laughs> on the last lap here. Yes, Vince. Love wow. You, we talked about how aggressive that young man was. Ben Rhodes mentioned he finished second here a year ago. Did right. Jordan Anderson there look at that is move. The move as he gets down to the bottom? Uh, oh, had to spin a guy out of the way. Yeah, that's what got <laughs> Austin Wayne Self going the other direction. I'm just going to need to get over to the left a bit. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. But watch this move. Crafton really gave himself up there for the block of the 21 and Jordan Anderson. I'll tell you, Mike, if they'd had another 10 feet, he might have won this thing. You got that right. Look at how fast he was going. Great move by Jordan. Ben Rhodes, Roper. Corey Roper. When they came around, I thought Corey Roper was going to win the race. I, oh, did, I did, too. I thought he made a great decision. I, initially, I thought he was just going to push Sheldon Creed for that whole last lap. But when he ducked to the inside and then everybody lined up behind him, I, I thought he was going to be hard to beat. So many real good trucks in this race. Let's take a look here. The two of Creed right there in the middle and it looked like, like Jordan Anderson had some sort of an issue and slowed it looked like well you and know, then Creed ran in the back of him not sure Sheldon Creed had anywhere to go no I don't think so either yeah Jordan Jordan looks I don't look like the left front tire looks a little funny on that truck possibly maybe a left front tire going down you know Phil he was running Jordan was in the fifth position when they entered turn one and two we were on board the truck behind him and there were sparks coming from behind the truck I think maybe Jordan felt something was going wrong and pulled up I don't know maybe trying to get out of the way Moffat Sauter Snyder Gus Dean Jordan Anderson, of course, Sheldon Creed, Grant Enfinger, Stuart Friesen, Austin Wayne Self, Brennan Poole, Christian Eckes, all with varying degrees of damage. I just don't think Jordan realized that the two of Creed was inside of him as much as he was. Came down a bit. Angela Ruck's just doing a great job really running is. up inside the top. Green is still out. Stay green here. Still racing. And uh -huh. now they're crashing. Timothy Peters involved. Tyler Ankrum has taken a big hit. Wow. John Hunter Nemechek. Several contenders. Heck, Timothy Peters and Chandler Smith. Ambulance for the trip to the Advent Healthcare Center. It's going to be busy over there. The cockpit up with smoke. Oh, Timothy Peters trying to get in a hole that's not there. Yeah, Drew Dollar in the 51. Didn't have anywhere to go. No, that was not Drew Dollar's fault. To see if he survives this little conflict. And then Peters right back up into traffic. How much damage does Johnny Sauter get? That clips Sauter there in the left rear. Carson Hosevar. A lot of innocent victims. 
it's not oh. the most efficient car. Angela Ruck is around oh. and into the wall hard. Christian Eckes gets a piece of it. Hold the wheel straight. Hold the wheel straight. Take part of it. That's a lot of fire. And the 28 of Doza. Brett Moffitt, there's the 23, the former champ. I just think as these tires get a little wear on them and they heat up back out there. Keep an eye on the double zero of Angela Ruck. Yeah, a little contact with Derek Kraus and that got it going. She tried to squeeze in a tight, tight, tight position there and wasn't quite enough room for her to do it effectively. Doza bounces off her and then look at the fire coming out of the O2. And, and a 28 ran right in the back. I don't know what that's about, but you don't know what happened. If it knocked a carburetor off, there's a fuel just gets on the headers and boy, that's a big fire. Several vehicles taking contact and uh, varying degrees of damage. Certainly a Corbin Forrester slipping by.